My brother, Jimmy, he's in the hospital. I asked the church to pray for him. Okay, we're going to pray, saints. Amen. Look to God. Dear Father, we come to you today thankful that you've enabled us to be in your presence here today, but we know you everywhere. And we thank you for that, Father. We thank you for our children, loved ones who have problems, but you know that. You know all about it. You know the spiritual of all man. You know man himself. God be with us in the service today. Bless the pastor as he brings the word, Father. Bless the saints who are here, Father. Have mercy. Save, heal, and forgive. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Brianna Haley. Brianna's 
been giving us some gems lately with the scripture. She's always on point, so it seems fitting to ask her to do the scripture this morning. Amen. I did not know I was reading today, so give me a You've been called. <laughs> So this is Psalm 19, if you want to stand. Psalm 19, verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testament of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. Amen. Amen. This time we're going to have our announcements by myself and Brother CJ. So you can make your way up here at this time. How many of y'all are happy to be back in the house of the Lord today? We have kept this all year so far, so we just thank God for His continued grace and mercy, allowing us to see each other again. We are few in number, but our praise is mighty, so go ahead. I believe we will be hearing the word this morning from our own pastor, Bobby Ladd. Yeah. 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 He gave us some great nuggets during Sunday school this morning, so we're looking forward to a great word today. And next Sunday is Youth Sunday. Yeah. If you have not joined us for Youth Sunday, you really should mark your calendars for that. It's always a very spirit-filled, wonderful service, all of our yeah. services. Spirit but you really know how to get down. Praise God. So I pray that you come out next Sunday and we will be hearing the word from our own youth minister, Ray Jones. And as always, please keep putting your prayer requests in the church group me so we can be praying all week long. And if you are a member and you're not in the church group me, please see me or sister, Dr. Brittany Ladd, and we can get you in the church group me. Uh, just a quick rundown of our weekly services. Um, we have Bible study every Wednesday evening at 7.30 p.m. on Zoom. Um, we have a women's prayer meeting every first and third Thursday evening at 7 p.m. on Zoom as well. On Sundays, we start Bible class at 10.30, uh, which you can catch in person or on Zoom if you are unable to make it in person, uh, probably by our morning worship at 11.30. Um, and we finish it off with our men's fellowship meeting, which is the second Saturday of each month. Um, we do it in person and on Zoom as well. Um, it starts at 9.45, so our, set, our next one will be the second Saturday of August. Um, and then we ask if anyone has a birthday or anniversary in the month of July um, that we have not acknowledged, would you please stand? All right, and then we ask if any first-time guests, uh, or just guests in general, would you please stand so we can recognize you. Amen. Amen. And if you wouldn't mind, if you are a guest or first-time guest, could you please give us your name and how you found out about Oak City Church? <laughs> if you don't mind. Yes. Okay. So we're glad to see you here today. So 
And so uh, he was always one. We were in that little wooden church over on uh, East Park where we started from, before we the Lord to be in his left. He was faithful. It didn't matter whether it was one person in church or two. Uh, brothers at that time, always there and always had ideas. He was the first one to suggest we have a church store, for example. He was always creative. And so the Lord blessed him and prospered and moved him on and got married and grew up and, 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 and grew up in an organization and got respect from everybody in the organization. It's now just the elder in you Arizona, right? It's Arizona? Arizona. And, and just so let's receive you. Come, come on to the pool. Let's receive this time. This is one of our own. He is one of the ones that I can come and follow. I can't do everybody like this and he's gonna come free. But uh but uh but this man is worded up and he is he's just a man of God and we're just so blessed and honored to have him here. We're gonna turn the podium of him at this time uh for whatever God gives us through him. Let's receive him by saying amen, amen, amen. amen. Sunday morning, hallelujah, God woke us all up at a setting here this morning, amen, that's something to be thankful about, amen, God woke us up and we're all in here, we're in our right mind this morning, uh, we're in the house of the Lord, the Bible tells us, uh, be glad uh, when you come into the presence of, of the Lord, to enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and I thank everybody that's out here this morning, you're glad to be here. Because there are other places you could have could have been. Yes. Amen. And sometimes uh, that day at that pillar, uh, it, it, it feels pretty good. Yes. And sometimes on the weekend when you don't have to go to work, amen, you can get you in another five or ten. But I'm glad today I'm here with like-minded people that want to be in the house of the Lord. And I tell you, when you're, when you're in place and you're with the same mindset, amen, that's when God shows up. Amen. That's when God shows up. And that's, I believe that's one reason that I can feel the presence of the Lord here. Amen. And I'm not even this moment. 
because we're here on one accord. And while the world would make us believe that there's so much going wrong, but I want you to know that we serve a God that does so much right. Hallelujah. And not only did he wake us up this morning, and he provided, if you wanted to get you some breakfast this morning, you ate breakfast. And as I looked out this morning, everybody's looking good today. Everybody got on something nice today. He told you today. Look at your hair. Your hair is, is, is looking good. But we look here in the word of God and we see that David was greatly distressed. And that's what the enemy wants to bring into society and get a focus on. He wants to focus on distraction. Distraction means to give extreme, cause extreme sorrow. Cause extreme sorrow. But I want you to know today that when we look up, we don't have to be uh, sorrowful. Yes. Hallelujah. When your mind is on the Lord, and you don't have to be sorrowful. Yes. But today there are so many things in society that can cause us to be distracted. And we have to be careful as children of God that we don't buy in to those things. Yes. Sometimes something as small as going through a drive-through and they get your order wrong. I don't know how many people I've known that they went through and got the order wrong. But I made up my mind, I'm not going to let a little fast food order that I don't need anyway mess up my mindset. Hallelujah. So we have to make sure that we don't get caught up in this world where what, what it's so easy to be distressed. Hallelujah. On every side, hallelujah, when you leave here today, remember this message. If somebody cut you off in traffic, Remember, you don't have to get upset about that. Hallelujah. As you go into this week and somebody, I believe God is talking to somebody. You might have someone on your job that get on your last nerve. But I want you to know today that when you go in tomorrow, go in with a different mindset. Go in with a different thought process. Hallelujah. Whatever is causing you distress today, it don't have to be that way. It don't have to be that way. We find today, hallelujah, that David encouraged himself in the Lord. And if I can incorporate forward in my testimony right here, I'll do that. Many years ago, my family and I, we came uh, to the church, and I forget the name. It was on the other side of town. It wasn't OKC at that time. But Avisar Faith Church. And we came there, and we met some people. We met uh, a pastor, Pastor Ladd. And one of the kindest persons you could ever meet. We met uh, elect Lady Lad, one of the kindest people you could ever meet. And throughout our lives, I've always been amazed at the kindness of the Lad family. Bobby, every time you sin, excuse me, I know him by Bobby, but Pastor Lad, amen. Every time you sin, he got a smile on his face. Daryl and I, we used to go out and play racquetball. And I beat him in racquetball and Daryl still have a smile on his face. Amen. And sometimes we can find uh, that in the midst of where we are, God is sending encouragement. And if you're at this church, I know that you have some encouragement because these individuals have encouraged me and my family throughout our lives. Yes. I remember and I... I share this story every time I come here. I, I share how I went to Bishop Ladd. And Bishop Ladd, and Bobby mentioned, I used to have ideas. And so I went to Bishop Ladd and I said, Bishop Ladd, I have the idea of having a church store. And Bishop Ladd gave me the green light to go forward with that church store. And I ran that store like a little business, but the saints 